is potentially a simulation based on that fact because if you look at the games we're creating you would just have to imagine that if we got if we made that infinitely more complex we would have something like this like what we are and our existence it's so my... fucking weird to think <laughs> that fractals like, my brain uh, yeah well you would say if the, if this like the sum of the the small is you know all parts you would have to assume that if this is a fractal universe and we're making games that there's far more complex games what right? so what if what if this knowledge of fractals because it's relatively new right like when was fractals yeah. when was the, the the what the i forget the guy's name ben benoit mandelbrot mandelbrot or, or something what, like that mandelbrot mandelbrot, mandelbrot. mandelbrot. Yeah. Well, benoit mandelbrot kind yeah, of brought he, it into he gave it the name like fractal that's when it became yeah, like he, fractal. he proposed the simple formula z mount z squared plus c yeah he goes 3.14 <laughs> you know all about it but see, so this is like a, like two days ago. <laughs> this is a relatively like newish theory, right? A newish concept. But like, what if this was like ancient technology? This is ancient knowledge, and this is something that was like known by, let's say, the superior races back back in the day. Because like, it's crazy to me. Because you look at remember the you guys obviously we've talked about sudden savant syndrome, right? Oh, Where someone seems, yeah, seems to just be wild. able to play guitar or piano yeah. or paint or whatever so there's this guy i was reading about him his name was jason paget and i guess in september 13th uh 2002 he was mugged outside of a karaoke bar and severed like a ma like a serious tbi serious concussion traumatic ba brain injury and when he came back he started displaying signs of uh ocd and started seeing everything through a mathematical lens and seeing just seeing everything in fractals like right. just seeing and, like the fractal nature of reality. Yeah. Like he's basically seeing like mathematical shapes everywhere he looks. He looks at water. He sees the fucking, he, he sees shapes. He looks at trees. He sees little trees. <laughs> like basically <laughs> he began. Sees broccoli, sees little broccoli. And, and then he, all of a sudden he's a fucking, he's basically this math genius. And they, they've like, he's done Ted talks, all this type of stuff. And they've like, they've, they basically, they've, they've CT this guy's brain to find out. They're like, okay, so what, what part of his brain is he tapped into to be able to see all this type of shit? And they can't figure it out. And it's like, what if this is some type of like ancient knowledge that was unlocked with a fucking swift kick to the head? Well, it does seem like it's pattern recognition because some of like the other ones that I say, I remember when we were kind of looking into that before, like there's of the person who can play piano and they play like unbelievable piano. They can't read piano notes, but he's like, I can play the wall. Like the wall, I, this is how the wall plays. And he plays this beautiful melody. And he, but he can't read or... music. He just can look like, look at the wall and be like, this is the pattern. And then he plays it on a piano. And you're like, how does that make any fucking sense? He's playing, he's basically playing the music of the universe. He's just like, this is that. And this is how this sounds. I look like, at that. I see, I see this. That's yeah. like a really, that's even, it'd be that's interesting even... to put two of those guys in the room and see if they play the same thing. Oh, yeah, that, would, that be, would be interesting. That'd be the ultimate I... experiment. But playing I think that's pretty a prayer like like pretty rare syndrome. So I don't even know if there's <laughs> and they kind of display they seem to display different types of pattern recognition. Like if you're like you know that sudden mathematics, but I've never seen anyone else with that kind of music. So if there was someone, that would be a very interesting like, like, put one in trial. Let them play. Music's fractal, isn't it? That's a good question because music is not. I guess you could say a waveform is fractal, zoomed in on it, perhaps. Like you play music, it's a vibration, it's like a frequency. You, but is the vis, like, is the, how do you zoom in on a sound wave besides having it recorded? Oh my I, God. <laughs> I, have, I, have, I have no idea, dude, what you just said. I'm too, too cooked. <laughs> so patterns in such ent entities resemble themselves at different scale. Music is full of fractals. Well, I guess, yeah, like the harmonics in music, like you play a note, it has like infinite harmonics. We can only hear so many of them. So in that case, I guess, yeah, it sounds fractal. Everything's How far fractal. can you go? How far can you go? fractal. Oh, man. Right? Yeah, because, I mean... You have the patterns in nature. Then you have like the mathematical ones, like the Mendelbrook scale. And there's a few other ones too, like Sierpinski's triangle, where you just take one triangle out of the center of a triangle. And then you just keep repeating that. And that's like, that's if you go look at YouTube videos, like, fra like fractal YouTube videos, 
like, yeah. like an acid trip. You know, when you do like some type of like high dose hallucinogen, you can see. <laughs> no, like, you're the only one who has that. <laughs> no, everyone, everyone's seen that. If you've done enough, you see, you yeah, look at okay, patterns I'm in the wall. Here, here. Well, I can't speak for all you. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> but you were describing, you're like, you know what it's like. And I was like, I have no idea, but I want to know more. Well, if you just, so take away, take away LSD and add it, cybacillin. When you look at certain patterns oh, and okay. trees and stuff, they seem to come alive. Like they look like this is like you're seeing almost like witnessing it different, like in a completely different way. Yeah, it's true. Like you unlock some different vision of this and like a very minor version of the savant syndrome. Like they, they see the wall. They can read it and play it, and you see the wall, but you see it like alive. You see like the the, the vibration, the, it moving. <laughs> I mean, <man. laughs> but you know, like the those patterns of like um, kaleidoscope, like seeing yeah. repeating these spinning patterns, and you keep seemingly zoom in forever. Fractal. It's, well, it's interesting too because apparently I was reading like a lot of times like artists will create stuff that's fractal without even knowing. Like Jackson Pollock, his his big thing was like splashing fucking canvases with paint. And it's supposed to be ra random, and then it ended up becoming fractal. You zoom, you zoom, zoom in, in and it's it looks fucking the same. fractal, right? Like it's like it, we keep getting drawn to this to fractals. Like I was another thing I was reading was like patients who are in rooms with views of fucking nature of trees and stuff like that. Yeah, are far prone to be healing at a faster rate, and like humans that stare at fractals it supposedly reduces stress by about 60% by like affecting your alpha and your, your beta waves, which like increase focus and relaxation and calm. Well, that's, I believe that for hundred percent because there's so many meditation videos with fractals. I've like, I only tried a, it. I tried it once for five minutes just to see when I was doing this. It's hard to say whether I, that's a result of the fractals or that's a result of just the way that, you know, we're still, we're still monkeys working on a monkey brain and you're looking at, that's how we grew up. That's how we evolved yeah, Dan, in this forest. Dan, that's just how we I bet you at. bananas are fractal. <laughs> I don't know. Monkeys, <laughs> bananas, fractal. The cell structure of a banana is fractal for sure. I, it has to be. I don't think so. <laughs> you don't think so? I don't think, I don't, I don't think so. <laughs> I think, I think it is because atoms and themselves are fractal. You zoom I don't more think particles so. Are, they oh are. my god! No, they're not. Yes, they are. <laughs> they are up to a the certain point. The scans of banana surface were recorded using a yeah, computational vision system. They are 100. percent The spots. They are. are I know. They are. They are. <laughs> so how do you explain? How do you explain the position of an electron? How do I explain it? How do yeah. you explain it? I explain it that it's, it exists in a cloud. It exists in it's, it's like a temp, like an always a constant state of probability. You're never exactly sure where it is. It's well, just, then that, it's there. Yeah, and that's a, well, and that's a whole other theory. That's like the quantum realm. That that thing's operating in all positions, and when you observe it, it takes a, it takes a form. Oh, your boy. Or, does whole, Listen. or does it exactly? But they know it's a cloud, but they can never pinpoint where it is. So it's all. It's so how is it fractal? It's time. more. It more seems to back I'm up. I'm seeing brains right now. <laughs> I'm saying if you if you zoom in on that, you get other subatomic particles which operate in Are clouds. You sure? and the if, electrons? I don't think so. There's nothing you can't break an electron you apart. Me? Quart, all the no, quarks. quarks are, are protons. Quarks, there's nothing, there's nothing farther than an electron. Look it up. There's nothing far. You're telling me there's nothing farther than an electron. I'm. I would. Tell, I'm telling you, you can't it. break electron into a smaller part. Not protons. That, you can't with that Quarks attitude. Not with that. Not yet. <laughs> how, well, how how would you say that with such conviction? If we like, I, the, we've, our, I, we've got CERN. Like we smashed them again. We smashed them a whole bunch of times. So electron okay. is cannot be broken out farther. You're, and that's 100. percent Protons like, I, I, can. I don't think electrons can. No, I'm just saying it's like we. It's been a long time since I. <laughs> no, but I'm just saying, how could we be so sure if we've only been researching for how long CERN? Like, have we really got like when I read when you read some of this stuff? Like, we 100 percent know this and this and this. But 200 years ago, they 100 percent knew this and this as well. And then in 200 years from now, we're gonna look back on this era. Right. And we, I mean, 200 years ago, we also thought that leaching was a good idea. There you go. Hey, it's, it's coming back, buddy. Changed. Leachy's coming back. Little, I've it been bringing true, a little jar back. of them on the ambulance with me just in case. Oh, you got COVID? Grab the leeches. That's all our health care chain. I tell the leeches. Yeah, well, I mean, so fractals are, uh, they are observable in many things. And we actually use them in some technologies too, right? We use them in like fractal antennas. So you can cram a tiny antenna into a cell phone and it can pick up this broad range of frequencies. Are you just talking about those extendable ones? No, those ones are shit. <laughs> Wait, what, what are you talking ones. about? 
A the internal phone. ones, like you, you have, like the, you know, that they put inside. Yeah. I thought you were like, you're like, I was like, that is the least. You know, you <laughs> pulled the one out. Hey guys, thanks for watching. I know it's annoying to watch these broken up in 10 minute segments, but here's the next one over here. Or if you want to watch the whole thing uncut and after hours, just click this link to our website and uh, give us a donation. You get full access to it on Patreon. Anyways, thanks guys. Enjoy the next video.